Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It is Espresso on S3. Now, the recipe we're about to make, it is inspired by one of our top fans, Linda Small Grobelaar, who says that she is a chippy monster by heart because she absolutely loves loaded fries. But with the new year upon us, we are also bumping up the nutritional value and making it a little bit healthier with our Authenticos loaded sweet potato fries. And the person here to help us make it is Dr. Micheli Vanzaghi. He is back in the espresso kitchen to show us how to make our authenticos sweet potato loaded fries. That's a whole mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, the ingredients that go in here are, are equally difficult to pronounce. Okay. But not that not that difficult to find. Not so, too difficult to find. Um, loaded fries, is that something you indulge in? I try not to, but you know, sometimes you can't help it. I think what's what's cool about what recipes like this is that you really can make them healthy and nutritious and fun. Yes. Um, so, I mean, and everyone loves a fry that's drowning in some oh form of God. sauce. So. Of course, of course. So, we're going to start off, obviously, cool. with our sweet potato fries. Yeah. Is this something you can make in the air fryer? Absolutely. I think, I think sweet potatoes are something that lend themselves probably the best to the air fryer. Okay. They're, they're actually more delicious, in my opinion, if you air fry them. Air fry. And healthier. So, I mean, that's it's always an added bonus. So, I'm going to get going. The first thing, obviously, you want to preheat your oven to, I like to make it 200 degrees. A little bit of a hotter oven always gives you a nice, crispier end product. So, you just clean your sweet potatoes um, on a chopping board. You want to get them, obviously, to a point where they resemble a fry. Maybe this would be the best tip. If you cut your sweet potato in half, and you have two flat edges, always gives you a nice base to work with and ah. it just makes it so much easier to sort of reciprocate a fried looking object. Yes, what I do is safer. Absolutely. <laughs> so you have them there and then what I do is I always turn them always onto the flat side and these are a little bit too big to be fried, I think, so we'll half that. Okay, so you're really cutting it into our fry sizes. A perfect, you know, little fry. There so we once go. you do that, you do that with all your sweet potatoes. I'm not going to cut them all. Um, onto a baking tray that's lined with some baking paper. Just there, a little drizzle of olive oil. So obviously, you don't need a lot. Um, season those with salt and pepper. We're actually going to season them, season them after they come out of the oven. While they're still warm, this is sumac, which um, sumac. is a Middle Eastern-inspired like, combination of, of spices. And it goes so well with these Middle Eastern flavors. And I think it's, it's such a beautiful ingredient that really highlights flavors of like earthy stuff like sweet potato. Okay, I need to give this a little bit of a sweet. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think I'm just going to these that. guys. Um, salt, pepper, okay. olive oil. Oh, so, like there's a there's a twinge, there's something unique to it. Absolutely, it's so different. And yes. it's, like I say, something new. People, not everyone knows about it, so it's such a nice thing to do. Okay, cool. So those go into the oven, 200 degrees, probably about 15 minutes. Okay. When they come out, they resemble something like that. Okay, so Once, I'm going to start off with, I'm assuming cool. is going to be our sauce, right? Our, our topping. Our the topping. of flavor. So I've got our clover authentic course here. How much of this would you recommend? Oh, it depends how much you want to put over the top, really. <laughs> I would think about a half a cup for what for the amount of spice that we have there would be perfectly fine. There Maybe we go. Another, another one. Little a bit more. And look how thick and creamy that is. Like oh, it is thick and creamy. Own. Definitely. Delicious. And our Clover Authentic course, it is the only authentic Greek style yogurt in South Africa and it is available in various flavors. You can get it namely in coconut, apple and cinnamon. And today we are using the plain, which is also plainly just absolutely delicious. Yeah, so there we go. With a savory dish, I think plain yogurt would always be It's always a winner. Option, yeah. It's always a winner. Cool. So I'm going to add some salt and pepper because I can see it in front of me. And now the ingredient, impossible to pronounce spice. So this, this is Ras Alamut. Um, yes, it's um, actually a North African spice. It's a combination of like cumin and coriander. And I was about just, to say, I'm getting those fr flavors coming through. And it actually means, Ras Alamut actually means top shelf. Um, and in Middle Eastern culture, they say these are the spices that are neglected, but actually the most important. Ah. Um, so yeah, that, and it goes so nicely with, with, like I said, like with these Middle Eastern flavors. So once you have that done, um, when the sweet potatoes come out of the oven and they're still warm, you just top them with, with this beautiful sumac. Um, so that would go over the top, and then you have the, like essentially the basis of your loaded fries. Pop them into a bowl like this, and now you have that topping. You can just how much? How much is the right amount? Is <laughs> the there such enough. thing <laughs> as too much, not enough, too little? Maybe in this case there could be too much. I think that looks perfect. That looks good. You don't want to drown them in the. Nope, we don't. And now just to make it look beautiful and to add like a little bit of a textural experience, um, pomegranate seeds are so, so nice with a pop of freshness. Fruit. There's something Absolutely. about pomegranates that I love in a salad. It's the first time I'm now going to have and try it with some um, loaded fries. Absolutely. But it is unbelievable. Cool. So all you do, you know. Just See, this is what makes your dish Instagrammable. <laughs> you know. <laughs> 
Cool, so that on top, and then two flavors that go so nicely with these is mint and coriander. I think you'll see the final product that was done earlier just now. Oh, this looks incredible. Well, if you want to get your hands on this delicious, authentic course, loaded sweet potato fries that Michele has just shown us how to make, we do have this recipe available on our website. That is expressoshow.com. And I feel like loaded fries can't just be presented here in front of me. I'm going to give it a little bit of a taste with our authentic course um, dressing. You call it the dressing, the I sauce. The, whatever you want to call it, I think it's as long as it's delicious. Mm. It's packed with flavor. This is delicious. Thank you so much. And again, if you want to get your hands on this recipe, it is available for you at expressoshow.com. Zeri's, a classic mayonnaise that brings out the traditional French in three levels of tanginess. The mild classic, the medium classic, the strong classic. Tangy, the way you love it. Made with love by Clover.